doing the 105 again this year. I am nowhere near as physically ready as I was last year, but this day last year started quite an emotional journey and I feel I've gained a lot of emotional toughness this year which is what I'm going to need to get through today. So it's going to be a big test of character day. I'm not scared and I think I should be um, but I really just have this faith that I can get through this this year despite the lack of training and I'm looking forward to I guess proving that right to myself. Um, I'm also really looking forward to being able to stay at the finish line this year and really enjoy the campfire and, and chat to people and and uh, I've uh, not made some of the mistakes I made last year so I drank a lot in the days leading up to it. Uh, I've got ambulance insurance this year that was a nasty bill and even though it's four in the morning I remembered to put sun cream on today so already doing better. I really have no goals for today other than to to finish and to be healthy at the end and to just enjoy what a beautiful day through beautiful conservation areas and parks it's going to be. So here goes Heisen 2020, an event we're lucky to have on uh, considering how we've gone this year with coronavirus and good luck to everybody. Hope you have an amazing day. the traditional custodians of this country and all the lands that we'll be crossing today. We pay respect to elders past, present and emerging. First hour, feeling good. Yeah. Too easy. Too easy. Oh. <laughs> oh, bold claim. See you at the end. Sounds like, sounds like a plan. Honey, is this your first, first second, yeah. first ice in? Really? Oh. Okay, like, so far. We're gonna see how we go. Yeah. <laughs> so far. Yeah. Amazing weather still. Yeah, rain's gone away. Sun's out. Yeah. I break out the sunnies in a minute. <laughs> Yesterday. I know, I thought I saw you were like, we're gonna do this again. Yes. 
I think I'm feeling a bit better this year, although <laughs> oh, good. I'm not in. Uh, we're not trying to climb Mount Mount Ponga though. No, no, that you're, was a nasty bit. You caught me bit. a bit earlier this year. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's. I'm always glad to get to the top of that hill. And the temperature's much nicer today as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind it a bit warmer actually. Yeah. But you know, I'm uh, I'm probably a bit not of the norm. You know, a lot of people like the like the cool. You know. Yeah. I'd yeah. rather have you a little bit warmer. Yeah. But uh, they're going right, I'm feeling fine. Oh, fantastic. I think I learned the uh, lessons of last year, not uh -huh. eating enough in the first bit. Okay, yep. And so I've eaten plenty. Yep. In uh, but A Station 1. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, of course, uh, my pong will be the big test. Uh, it will be. <laughs> it's the beauty and the torture of that place. The beauty and the terror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, no worries. have a good day. Good to see you, Rebecca. Yeah. It's Sam. Uh, Sam just told me that we're uh, over half a marathon in. I um, stuffed up my Garmin at the beginning. I started it, then realized it wasn't on Navigate. Turned it off, put it on Navigate, but didn't actually press go. So I've lost a few K. <laughs> so half a marathon in, going good so far. Um, all about hydration this year after what happened last year so I'm all on track with that even had to go to the toilet at the first aid station though so I saw plenty of people peeing behind bushes on the way to that how's your first half going Sam? pretty good yeah? <laughs> yeah so yeah. so far so good I think there's a lot of the first hundred back here today oh, have a good day see you at the next half I definitely would have passed the marathon by now. Um, my gum has not been any help. It can't handle the, that I didn't start at the start with navigation and it keeps telling me I'm off course and being weird. Um, with all the extra entrance this year, the first 30 k's was a lot less lonely. Heaps of people to chat with and meet. And even now, I'm still seeing more people than usual. The guy ahead of me looks lost. <laughs> he's paused and he's looking back this way. Don't tell me I've taken a wrong turn getting distracted by my video. <laughs> you look lost. I might resume this in a second. <sighs> so aid stations have been funny. I've been trying to use that infinite and there has to be a better way than the little sandwich bags. Looks like I rock up with a bag of heroin and I try and get in my bottles and spill it everywhere and create a sticky mess. So, uh, you know, never do things for the first time in the event, but at least keeping my electrolytes up this year. Half a 
marathon's in now. Um, I got uh, pretty tired about 50k, really hit a wall. Just felt like I had nothing left. Um, but I've picked up now, I feel a lot better. And being well over halfway is uh, definitely a boost. At the Mount Compass aid station, uh, my feet don't look good. I've seen photos of feet like this on like yucky Facebook posts and trail running groups. They're just kind of white and wrinkly from getting really wet early on. Just a massive mud puddle I couldn't avoid. Uh, so never had this happen. So I've changed socks, put Sudocrim on, but I don't know what that is going to mean for my day. Whether I'll survive or end up in agony. Uh, just ask me how your day has gone. Oh, it's been awesome. Yeah, yeah. not over yet. No, no. How many K's are we? I stuffed up my garment. Oh, 68. <laughs> So, four half marathons and I think a tiny bit done because they said it's only 18k to go. Um, <laughs> another garment disaster, I did a little, um, just a boost charge of it and it stopped the activity. So, <laughs> let's start again. Um, yeah, my feet are, yeah, there's some very large white squishy bits hurting some lovely lady just gave me some blister pads and I put more pseudocrem and hikers wool and yeah <laughs> we'll see how we go my neck actually hurts the most which is kind of weird feet are killing me um, legs are just smashed I think that it's gonna be very difficult to uh, 18k but obviously at this point gonna make it so um, it's just a matter of yeah just what's the saying left foot right foot repeat <laughs> um, see the finish line
and stories, hanging out with people, much more fun than, <laughs> than an ambulance. Um, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was an amazing supper fest at the end, but I'm so proud that I finished. Um, yeah, I did. It's indescribable. Right. All done. Did it. That's about it. Good luck to anyone watching this thinking about giving it a crack next year. <sighs> Time to eat food and, and drink some wine. <laughs>